In this video, I'm going to show you how you can um, install Kibana and configure it. Good. So let's get into the uh, configuration and uh, installation for Kibana. So let me show you how you can get it from. Let's go back on this web page and let's go to Kibana, hit download. And here we have the RPM package. As you can see, it's in uh, 64 bits only. Yeah, pretty interesting. So we were going to get this one. Then uh, we will have to get the um, SHA checksum file uh, to make sure that um, the package is authentic. So let's get this one right now. Copy link address. Okay, let's do an LL. And previously we had uh, the Elasticsearch RPM packages and right now we will have to compare these ones. So we will have to do on, uh, let's see, sorry. We'll have to do an SHA sum minus A512 minus C for compare, and then we will uh, do actually the Kibana one. Not <laughs> SHA, yeah. Okay, so our RPM package is authentic and good to go. Let's install it right now. We need to dashes for the install. And then Kibana. Okay, let's try and configure Kibana right now. The configuration file. Kibana YAML. And here we will have the uh, server port, which uh, defaults to uh, 5601 server host uh, by default is localhost and for this one I'm gonna actually change it and I would like to start it on all the interfaces that this server has that means loopback uh, and any other IP address that the server has so I'm gonna do a zero zero everywhere so four zeros and then we will have the Elasticsearch hosts. Uh, by default is uh, local host. And I'm not going to change this one because everything will be installed on the same server. Okay, and there are some other configurations that I don't want to get into right now so far. So I will hit Control and O to save it. Exit with Control X. And then we can do a system CTL uh, daemon reload. Then system CTL enable Kibana. Now let's start it. System CTL start Kibana. Let's check the status. Okay, it's running fine. Uh, other ways to check uh, the status for Kibana would be Nestat. Okay, and it should be on uh, 5601. And it is right here. It started on all the interfaces, which is good. Uh, that being said and done, let's see how uh, Kibana looks uh, as a web interface. To do this, we will go to, to do this, we will have to go to the IP address of our server. Let's check for the IP address of our server first. With if config, then grep for the inet. And we will have this interface on our end 
This is another interface that I'm using to connect this server to the internet and this is for the LAN. So I have two. And over here we can uh, simply paste this one. We don't have HTTPS configured yet. Let's just leave it to the default. Okay, naturally I forgot the port number 5601. And as you can see, it's uh, loading the web interface. And there are some kind of uh, tutorials here, uh, basic, but uh, we will just do explore on my own. And we will gonna talk uh, later about uh, the features of uh, Kibana. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, share it, and talk to you guys in the next one.